Hello, Pat Skeets here from meandmycricket.com. I'm going to do an album share. Uh, this is a Christmas album, number six at my website. So if you want more details on the papers, the images, and uh, a design space link for each of these pages, you can go to my website and you'll find a lot more detail there. I try to keep the videos shorter, so I don't discuss all that while I'm showing the pages. Anyway, let's begin. So this is a swan-themed Christmas page, which is unusual, but our city does a Christmas light display, and there were these giant swans, and I happened to have Christmas paper with swans, so I did a great big swan in the background here. And I like these lights. These are all just Christmas light images, borders, and these. I really like the lights. So <clears throat> that was my page here with the ornaments, a title Merry Christmas and some more lights. So that's the beginning. This page is I Ate Santa's Cookies. And so um, she was hamming it up for the camera. Anyway, this page was published in Scrapbook Creative Scrapbooker magazine. So um, I was proud of that. The, um, I, I recreated the scene with a great big tray of cookies at the bottom. And then a, a, a mug, a cocoa mug. This is for Santa. So uh, I just used holly borders and I lifted this, lifted the holly that I decorated the tray with, did a mug paper border over here. And this is a little uh, Martha Stewart train border punch. And I, so I repeated the train over there, um, just for the title. Cute. It's good that she got published. I had another page published too and my other granddaughter was in that one. So now they're even. Okay, this is um, the kids helping me prep on Christmas Eve. We were trying to make some food. And um, so they were helping out in the kitchen. So I happened to have, because of her yellow shirt, um, I hunted high and low and found that I did have yellow Christmas paper. Very unusual. So I just had fun doing aprons and some fruit and foods and little chef titles with a chef hat. I just used a marker to go outline around the edges of that. And I lifted this border, the title, all these fruits, and added some uh, pop dots. Now this page is um, I when I'm doing a Christmas album and I know there's going to be a ton of pages I just write a list of different topics like ornaments mistletoe trees Santa sleigh and then as I do a page I, I can just pick one of those titles and check it off and I don't waste a lot of time searching for a theme for a page so that's what I did with this album so, um, but this paper was beautiful with this giant tree already on it. So I just sliced it and tucked the photo behind. Um, did a, a lovely ornament because of the tree thing. Did a lovely frame here. And then this is just a die that I repeated a few places. These are cricket images and uh, I lifted that and the ornament. Here we have the elf on the shelf. <clears throat> it's a part of my grandchildren's cr Christmas. So I, uh, I created that one myself in design space using circles and squares and mittens and other little images that I could find. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did a, a wide border here to, to hold, to anchor the shelf. Um, some holly trim to balance and then I just put a snow globe the elf pile of books and a clock on that shelf um, did some, a pretty frame for each of these photos 
And that was quite a simple page after I got the elf figured out. <clears throat> this is ornament theme with a title wish. So lots of pretty ornaments here. Um, I, I think they're an Anna Griffin cartridge. She has a few new ones. And um, so I, I was quite enjoying them. Uh, here's the border of that coordinates with these ornaments here. I added some ribbon and I added bow, a bow to that. I raised this and the title. This is a lovely bow frame and then I repeated it in a different shape over here. So, now we have a bell theme, jingle bell. So, um, again, Anna Griffin, I just went through that cartridge, like doing everything. There, there was bell images and a bell border, a single one, a title. So here's a tree border. Uh, I like that a lot. And then this is a pretty frame. I like doing frames on my photos. It makes uh, the pages, uh, the pictures stand out more. I did emboss the green, the red, and these this, this stuff as well. And you know, this is um, mistletoe theme because they were kissing. So I did a title, Meet Me Under the Mistletoe, and just added a great big clump of mistletoe and this one here, uh, put it on a label, added some dots, some buttons, a few Christmas things. This, this is a die, this piece, it's beautiful. That's that page. <clears throat> this one I used candy cane theme. So, um, the, I had this candy cane uh, die, it was all cut out in a pad of cut, Christmas cutouts. So I used that for a background, centered it on both the pages. And then I did my own candy canes from Cricut and uh, peppermint candies. And then just a yum title, uh, to, Tis the Season. So um, again, I have matching frames. And now this one is a stockings theme. So I just, I found this um, frame that looked kind of like candy canes <clears throat> and because they're children in the photos, I thought that was uh, cute for here. Plus I was using this striped paper and it was a striped frame, so I liked it. So I used extra frame under here and under here and did a hat and mittens because she's pulling out. Hat, they had hats and mittens in their stockings. So, uh, love these stockings. They're really cute. Added lots of floral gems on them just to make them glitter. This I have. It's a poinsettia theme page. So, I made a a border just about a two inch border across right across and used a holly border punch uh, to trim it on the top and the bottom and then I did another one down going this way I did a giant point set of here and then the point set of border that goes with it just picked a title holly jolly and ho ho and then I used um, black and white coordinating print to this polka dot to mat these photos. Lots of embossing on here. So this page is uh, a family portrait and so I just, it's a single page, I rarely do them, but I just had the one photo of them together. So I love the little elf feet. He has quite a sense of humor, so I thought that would be funny. 
and um, just added a title. This is um, metallic that I embossed. Cute, and that's their dog. <clears throat> okay, so this is a presents or gifts themed page. And the paper I chose has reindeers on it. So I also put a, a reindeer here, but with the gifts, I did bows. Uh, um, so I did a, a border of bows, a pile of gifts here, a pretty one here, and then added big bows to the tops of those frames. This page is some of their ornaments that they have. <clears throat> this is, um, I think it's a draft stopper for under a door, but they put it under their tree or by the fireplace each year. I, I absolutely love it. So I took photos of it and blew them up to five by seven and pieced it all together. So this was uh, Christmas Eve. So I have Santa and his sleigh another Santa, his hat, and then St. Nick title with uh, another sleigh going up there. Stocking paper. This is the single page that I did. The kids got um, emoji cushions each. So I found an image of an emoji and uh, I love this cute little penguins. I thought it was sweet. So I just added some Christmas paper here, and this is a, a present frame. So that was a simple page. And this is the last page of this album. So this is some excited kids on Christmas Eve. So I did a funny reindeer. I thought he was quite a character. Um, so uh, this is um, a border from Design Space that I sliced and made uh, made it into a, a lovely wider border using paper on this side. So I repeated that up there. Um, there's a Design Space link for this if you wanted on at the in it's Christmas album six, right? So I added a tree border down here and some little hoof prints for the deer, or the reindeer, and some s random snowflakes here and there. This is a snowflake border behind him. Um, and some pretty frames, a matching square, and the round. Actually, this lifted. I have to put this back. There. So that's the end of this album. Thank you for watching. You can go to me and my cricket for more details anytime. Bye.